the equivalent stiffness in terms of k and then finally we'll put the value of k so we'll solve this first parallel combination so to solve this first parallel combination for series combination the equivalent stiffness is addition of inverse of the stiffness and for parallel the equivalent stiffness is addition of the stiffness so here we'll add k1 plus k2 consider this as k1 this as k2 for this parallel the equivalent will be kp so kp1 is equal to k plus k that is equal to 2k means if i replace a single spring by the equivalent spring then this will be reduced to a single spring so the reduced figure i'll draw here it is reduced to one spring then the second then this spring then we have one more spring here then one more spring here and finally there will be the mass okay so this spring which is replaced replacement of i have replaced by using this two so its parallel combination it is 2k so this equivalent spring will be having 2k then k the remaining all the springs are of k stiffness okay so i have replaced with the parallel combination now we'll solve for next combination here just see this combination is series okay so we'll have to solve for the series combination so the second is the series combination the ultimate aim of this equivalent spring is to reduce to a single spring okay so here it will be the addition of inverse so equivalent spring for series combination will be 1 divided by k1 plus 1 divided by k2 okay now here the k1 will be 2k and k2 will be k k1 will be 2k and k2 will be k so i'll write here 1 divided by 2k plus k is equal to 1 divided by k so k s 1 okay so add these two 1 divided by 2k plus 1 divided by k so this will be equal to i'll make the denominator same 2k so 1 plus i have multiply by 2 on numerator and denominator on right side so it will be 2 so it will be 3 by 2 k okay for k divided by k s 1 now take the inverse so if i take the inverse so k s 1 will be 2 k by 3 means if i combine these two springs then it will reduce to it will reduce to a single spring and that single spring will be having stiffness of 2 by 3 k and all other things will remain same so i'll put as it is this k k and this is having mass okay so we have solved for the first one then we have solved for the second one then we have entered into the third one now in the third one here we'll have to solve here we'll have to solve this one and if you see at this point the displacement of these two springs is same so as the displacement is same so we'll have to use the parallel combination so for the third one we'll have to use the parallel combination so i'll write here for parallel combination Now what is the parallel combination in parallel combination the equivalent stiffness will be equal to 
k1 plus k2 okay so equivalent stiffness it is for parallel the suffix is given for parallel already we have used parallel once so i have given kp2 k means stiffness p means for parallel combination here k1 will be 2 by 3 k plus k2 is k so the addition will be 2 k plus 3 k means on this side i have multiplied by 3 and divided by 3 so the denominator will be same and the final answer will be 5 k by 3 okay that is the k p2 okay so this will be reduced to this will be reduced to i'll show here this will be reduced to a single spot having the stiffness of 5k by 3 so 5 by 3k all other things will remain as it is okay all other thing i have kept as it is so now we'll get a new combination okay so i'll mark this as 4 so here you can see the 5 by 3k spring and the k spring these two springs are in these two springs are in series so we'll have to write for series combination so i'm going to write for series combination so i'll write here the four that is the series combination now for this series combination what we'll have to consider the equivalent spring stiffness will be equal to 1 divided by k1 plus 1 divided by k2 and this is for second so i will write ks2 means second series combination so 1 divided by ks2 will be equal to 1 divided by 5 by 3k 5 by 3k plus 1 divided by k because we have two springs okay now solve for this one now to solve this one this value 3 is denominator of denominator so it will become numerator so 3 divided by 5k plus 1 by k so on this side multiply by 5 and divide by 5 so ultimately the denominator will become 5k 3 plus 5 So this will be 8 by 5k. That is 1 divided by k s2. But actually, we will require the value of k s2. So take the inverse. So k s2 will be 5k by 8. Means I will. I am going to replace this spring by 5 by 8 into k. So I will show. the combination will be reduced to a single spring with stiffness of 5 by 8k okay and here we have one more spring that is k and finally this is the mass means we have reduced our system to two springs now now if you consider these two springs then these two springs are in these two springs are in parallel because its displacement is same so again we will have to solve for the fifth one that is for parallel combination so for parallel combination we will have to determine the equivalent stiffness and the equivalent stiffness for parallel combination is given by k1 plus k2 okay so this combination we are solving for third time so here i'll write kp3 okay and that will be equal to 5 by 8k plus k so multiply by 8 and divide by 8 multiply by 8 and divide by 8 on this side so ultimately it will become 5k plus 8k that will be equal to 
13 by 8 k this is the value of your final parallel combination so this will be reduced to the system where there will be a only one spring okay and that spring will be having stiffness of 13 by 8 k and its displacement is x means we have reduced our system into a single spring okay we have reduced our system in single spring but uh, i have missed one spring i think here yes here you can see i have missed one spring here so i'll add that spring here we have one more spring here here we have one more spring uh, here again we'll have one more spring so i'll add that spring here um, which is missed from my side so i'll add that spring here k and the mass okay so again here i have missed the spring sorry for that i'll make the change so here i'll have to add that particular spring so i'll add this one k and finally the mass now in the final here this is not the final combination because we have solved for this one and this k spring is remained so as it is remained so i'm going to modify this one so here will remain with the two springs okay so this is the first one and the second one is with case stiffness okay and finally we'll have to mark the mass okay now now this is the sixth one and we'll have to solve this sixth combination as i have missed one spring so i have added finally now we'll have to solve this combination and to solve this combination this combination is series so for the series combination the equivalent stiffness the equivalent stiffness is addition of inverse okay so 1 by k equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 now we'll solve this one so 1 by k s3 because we are solving the third series combination 1 divided by k1 is 13 by 8 k 13 by 8 k and the second spring having stiffness k now we'll solve this so to solve this i'll transfer this a 8 to numerator so 8 divided by 13 k because the uh, numerator is denominator's denominator ok so plus 1 by k now make the denominator same so I will multiply 13 and divide by 13 on this side so this will become 8 plus 13 divided by 13 k means here I have multiplied by 13 divided by 13 so it will be k s 3 so ultimately the answer will be 21 by 13 k for 1 divided by k s 3 just take the inverse so inverse will be k s 3 will be equal to 13 k by 21 and this will be finally reduced to a single spring and that spring is nothing but 13 by 21 k and this is the mass okay, with the displacement of x so we have reduced our total system into a single spring mass system now just go and read the problem so that uh, we will get what value we will have to find so in the problem see in the statement find the equivalent stiffness of and natural frequency equivalent stiffness means we have reduced the total system to a single spring that is your equivalent stiffness so this final answer is nothing but your answer number one that is the equivalent 
stiffness of total system okay so this is your answer number 1 and the answer number 2 which is required is natural frequency for that they have given the value of k and given the value of mass okay so to solve this i'll write the well given values k and mass the value of k which is given is 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter and the value of mass is 20 kg okay so we'll just check the values m is 20 kg yes and 2 into 10 raised to 5 it is newton so uh, newton 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 yes here there is one small mistake this is the unit of stress i'll make one change that this unit will be newton per meter because stiffness is nothing but force divided by displacement so the unit will be newton per meter or newton per mm uh, this unit is wrong so i'll consider 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter and with this value i'll solve the problem okay so the value of k and value of m is given and for this system we will have to solve for the natural frequency so natural frequency omega n is equal to root k by m but in our problem we have reduced our system to the equivalent spring so we will have to consider the value of equivalent okay so <coughs> the equivalent spring is 13 by 21 k divided by m so i'll put the values this 13 by 21 into value of k is 2 into 10 raised to 5 divided by m m is 20 if we solve then we will get the answer and this answer is 78.68 radian per second so this is the circular frequency we can say that natural frequency and if i want the fn then fn will be 1 divided by 2 pi root k by m means it is omega n so 1 divided by 2 pi into omega n is 78.68 and that will be equal to 12.5 and unit will be in hertz because it is 1 divided by time period so time period is 1 second so the answer will be in hertz okay so this is the final answer for the given problem i will quickly revise what we have done here they have given one problem in that problem i have reduced the given system i have reduced the given system into a single spring to reduce this one see here these two springs are in parallel so it will reduce to a single spring then these two springs are in series this will be reduced to a single spring then these two springs are in parallel this will reduce to a spring single spring then then these two springs are series then it will be reduced to a single spring then these two are in parallel so finally these two are in series so by solving series parallel series parallel combination we reduce to a single spring and that is the seventh figure and from the seventh figure we have solved the problem i have just made one correction that the unit which is given for k is wrong actually it was given of stress so it was wrong so i have changed to newton per meter and i have solved the problem thank you